said this would be coming in a while back. You guys know about the van deal, the RV deal I was thinking about doing for a while. And uh, this is one element that uh, fits that in a lot of other situations and circumstances. Uh, this is basically uh, if you're going to do RVs or, or vans to any degree, you're probably going to be uh, require uh, off-grid power. This is what this is. It's a, it's a box that offers off-grid power. And this is not a unusual purchase. This, purchase. this product has been out for a good while. It's just that uh, I never really heard it framed like that. It's basically a solar network in a bundle. I've been studying solar networks for a while. All the things I'm going to need, the inverters, the controllers, etc. Then I looked at this and I said, okay, I can worry about all this other more complex stuff later. But what I can do is get uh, basically a system in a box. And that's exactly what this is. All right, we have here the Gold Zero. Okay, we have here the Gold Zero system. And let me open the box. Now, this is the 400. There's a smaller and a larger. And I considered both of those. The smaller, not much, because it just didn't have the ump. The larger, but it is much larger and much more expensive. But it, it's a possibility it could be acquired in the future. So this is basically the Gold Zero system. Side. It is not light. And rather than put it out of the box, I'll just split the box here. Here we go, Go Zero 400 solar generator. Solar generator is kind of a misnomer. It doesn't actually generate solar, but it does put the controllers and battery required and makes it simpler to just get it together. So, here we go. Here we go. Instructions and we have the cores here. Uh, this is a solar zero uh, solar uh, generator by name, but you can also simply charge it from house current. You can charge it from a generator. Let's pop it out. Here we go. This is the Yeti 400. It. Uh, it has uh, connections for a standard house current uh, for the states, 110. Uh, you have a 12 volt uh, quote unquote lighter attachment. Then you have several others. You have a, uh, was that 1.3? I can't remember exactly. But the, the amount you would use to charge off of a, uh, a USB cable. So you could run a, a heater, possibly air or uh, you can charge your uh, laptop from this. You can charge your phone, etc., from here. And you still have the 12 volt attachment. And you can even charge it from a 12 volt. So you could just put it in the front seat with your car as you're going and charge it up. Let's go get the, the cables and cords here. this out. All right, we have a couple of different cords here. Uh, this, I believe, is the is one of the interfaces if you want to use a solar panel. Uh, you can connect it in here and you can hook the solar panel's adapter to here. Now that's their own uh, proprietary uh, solar uh, setup. 
Now you don't have to use that. Uh, they now have, I did buy the adapter or two adapters just in case. And this will allow you to put a traditional uh, solar panel. Renogy or any of the other uh, major or minor manufacturers should you work fine with this cable. You just plug this in and then plug in the adapter to the positive and negative coming from your solar panel. Put this in here so I don't lose track of this. In the meantime, I'm going to need to charge this and I can charge it from house current. Now, there's a caveat with these. You can't just purchase this and put it on the shelf for five or six months. It, it, it's, a, it's a standard lead acid battery and it will do damage after a period of time. Um, it damage in that it won't function the way it should. So what I will be doing is hooking up to house current. Now, like I said, what you promise with this is uh, you uh, own your van or your RV, you own the top, uh, you put either uh, a panel uh, the only restriction is it can't be greater than 29 volts, so uh, you have to align it so you get wattage and not volts uh, beyond that range. Uh, I think I've seen up to a 200 uh, watt panel able to use this. You could probably hit two 200 watt panels, put them, I can't remember if it's series or parallel, you would put them in the, in the system that would not, uh, would not overwhelm the voltage but would give you increased wattage. So basically you set this in your RV, your van, wherever else and you basically have got inverter, uh, charge controller, etc. right here uh, to some degree breakers because if overwhelmed they, will, they have fuses in that will blow. Uh, so what you do is you simplify the installation by just setting this in the floor, creating a case around it because you don't want anything that's heavy just, you know, rolling around in, uh, in any wheeled vehicle. Uh, and, and voila, you have the ingredients for a solar system. You have the base for the solar system. You don't have the panels yet. Haven't bought the panels. I'm going to wait this until um, till I've got the van slash RV. Then I will uh, get the panels. But in the meantime, I will plug this in and get it going. But I thought I would show this is the Go Zero. Uh, there are hundreds probably of videos out there. And I've probably seen most, if not all of them. Uh, probably could be thousands. I may not have seen them all. But, you know, that's basically what it promises with this. And then I was thinking about getting the gold, the Yeti 150 in addition. Uh, then you can you can just basically plug that into your lighter, keep it up front with you, and charge as you go. So you'd have uh, two uh, fully charged uh, uh, devices at any given time. And there's always the uh, the the uh, the 1250, and it's just it's a beast. Uh, you would use that to run ACs or so forth, uh, and it will charge it from all the same uh, inputs that this one will charge from uh, but it is much much more expensive and much much heavier so if you get that and you put it in a vehicle you're going to have to do some building around to secure that or you're going to have a, uh, a, a boulder worth of, uh, of potential momentum coming at you if there's, a, if there's an accident so that's, probably, that's the reason I got to get a 400 uh, I believe this is the size, optimum size to give you the maximum power and uh, reduced bulk. And with the correct connectors, which I've also ordered, you can connect two more uh, 30, 33 amp milliamp deep cycle batteries on either side of this and expand your storage capacity. So this is the this is the anchor of a very good solar system, and it's something that you could keep in mind and makes it simple. Now I'm not saying that it makes it perfect because anytime you get something in a box there's going to be some problems and some compromises but if you're just starting it allows you to get up and get going in a hurry all right i just wanted to give you a quick look at this this is part of the the tech part of this channel that i don't hit as often as i should but you'll be seeing it on and off as i progress with this in the meantime i will i'm going to plug this in and You'll probably see it again as time goes on and as I begin to uh, get more components and get the vehicle to put it in. So, uh, and, and it's never a waste, guys, because this is a, a solar system, so you can run it out of your house and to reduce your utility bills by a good percentage if you use you know, the equipment here and you know, if need be, the additional batteries. I just want to give you a quick look at that, and you'll be seeing it off and on in addition to the other pieces of this and eventually I'll probably spin this off 
but uh, it's it's uh, you see tech on the bottom of this. So this is this is the beginning of the tech part that you will see every now and then. That's if you haven't been seeing it with the cameras, etc. All right, uh, I will be back with you uh, later uh, with some of the more traditional stuff. Uh, be out detecting this week, and we're going to see if we can actually bring in something of value to offset the cost of this. Goal zero, which is in and around the 400 range. All right, I'll talk to you later, and you have a wonderful day.